I was really excited for Nantucket Noel for three reasons. One, I love Christmas films. Two, I love Hallmark Christmas films. Three, I'm fascinated by Nantucket, which as a statement might sound unusual, but I've started watching Wings. I'm quite obsessed with the TV show Wings, which is set in Nantucket. And I'm also planning a trip to Boston and hopefully having a day trip to Nantucket if times match up. So I was looking forward to a film, a Christmas film set in and around Nantucket. Now, from what I've gathered, none of it was filmed in Nantucket. I don't know that for a fact, but on IMDb, there's certainly no mention that it was filmed in Nantucket. If anybody knows information to the contrary, please feel free to let me know. I think some of it might have been some of the exterior shots. So it's a little bit hard to tell, but I'm not. I'm going to take it with a pinch of salt that it was set in Nant filmed in Nantucket. But either way, I did enjoy it. This was released in 2021. It was directed by Kirsten Hansen, written by Alex Wright and Erin Rodman, based on the novel by Nancy Thayer. I haven't read the novel. If you know how it compares and want to share what you think of the novel, please feel free to do so. This is a very typical Hallmark film insofar as we have a single parent who is currently bringing up his daughter for the holidays. She does have a mother, but she's spending Christmas with her father. Her father, well, her father's father is a workaholic, her grandfather. Her father is committed to his job, but there's more to life for him than just the daily grind. But his father, the grandfather, has bought out a strip of shops on the pier, on the seafront, and he's going to have to raise the rent because he's doing a lot of development work because quite rightly it's dilapidated you know if they don't put work in it now everything's going to end up in the sea at some point but a lot of people who have shops there are not pleased with this and that's one person in particular Christina played by Sarah Power and she owns a toy shop there that used to belong to her mother when she was a little girl and she passionately does everything she can to try and stop the development but while doing that she also gets very close to Andy um, the father's son uh, played by Trevor Donovan and his daughter Wink played by Peyton Lipinski and there are obviously confusing messages that she's receiving because this romantic relationship between them is beginning to grow but at the same time his father is still going ahead with the development and she feels like Andy's not really doing as much as he could do to stop Oscar his father from going ahead with this but who is right should he be allowed to develop it if you know if he doesn't it's going to crumble and everything's going to fall apart or is she right that nostalgia and sentiment are more important i feel like the former is right which is not that common usually when hallmark do development stories they are you know, the big suits buying out little shops to create a you know, super shopping mall or something. But in this case, I can actually see the need. But it's still very sweetly done. I think Wink is a really interesting character because she's not all sweetness and sugar plums. Most Hallmark children are very sickly sweet and very well behaved. But she actually does something very early on that shows she was acting out. And I was really pleased that they did that because it broke the mould a little bit. But the rest of the film, I'd say, pretty much follows a classic Hallmark Christmas film. Whether or not it was filmed in Nantucket, as I said, I don't know. But there are certain things that definitely made it unique. For example, there is a boat parade, where all of the boats are beautifully lit up and decorated, basically like a Christmas parade, but on water. And that's obviously quite unique to this film, since most films are set either in the country or in the big cities. And that kind of thing wouldn't happen. And um, we do get to spend time on the seafront. Um, and there are things that made it worthwhile for being set in Nantucket. They haven't just gone with the location because of the alliterative name. There are actually things that are quite unique that most Hallmark films don't deliver. So I did really thoroughly enjoy it. I loved our protagonists. I thought they were great. I thought Oscar as an antagonist was... Well, I say antagonist... <laughs> He is Christina's antagonist, but as a character, I actually agree with certain things he says and does. Not everything, of course. And I did really enjoy the character quite a lot. It's definitely a, a really strong film. It's one that I thought worked very well. Not the most unique in terms of the narrative, but in terms of the setting, the location, wherever it was filmed, it definitely brought some uniqueness and it did feel very festive. So 
from me. I do think Nantucket Noel lived up to my expectations. <laughs>